If you're wondering what it's like living in Palm Beach, Florida, if you're wondering what it's like specifically to live in Royal Palm Beach, Florida, if that's the case, then this video is for you. My name is Ray Fernandez. I'm with Living in Palm Beach, Florida, powered by eXp Realty. Welcome. If this is your first time to our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button there over in the corner. While you're at it, ring that bell. What that'll do is that'll notify you each time we put out a new video. We put out new videos every single week. We talk about all things going on in South Florida, all things Palm Beach. So if you're wondering what it's like to eat, sleep, and drink in this beautiful part of the world we call sunny South Florida, then this channel is for you. 16 years ago, my family and I relocated to this beautiful part of the world we call sunny South Florida, and we haven't looked back. Today, my team and I help people, perhaps like you, do exactly the same thing. So if you have any questions about what it's like living in this area, if you have any questions about what it's like to relocate and what's involved from people who've actually done it before, down below is our email address. Uh, also on the screen, there's our phone number. You can either call or text us. Uh, two great ways to get a hold of us is in the description and the comments section, there's a link. Click on that link. What that'll do is that'll help set up some time for us to speak, either through a phone call or through a Zoom, whichever way you feel most comfortable. In any case, we have your back when it comes to relocating to here to sunny South Florida. This week, I wanted to go through one of the areas that is not really covered all that well. It's a very fast growing area. Um, this area is called Royal Palm Beach, Florida. I find the best way sometimes to go through, um, and I think it's especially true here in Royal Palm Beach, is to go through uh, and show what the area is about by using the map. So here we have a map of, uh, oh, but centered around Royal Palm Beach, Florida. But uh, let me look, let me zoom out and we can look at the bigger picture here. Um, so we are part of the Miami metro area here. So that's uh, Miami-Dade, uh, Broward County, which includes places like Fort Lauderdale, uh, Hollywood, and then uh, Palm Beach. Now, Palm Beach, there, you're looking at Jupiter to Boca Raton. That's the uh, that's the county of Palm Beach. That's the Palm Beach area. It's the northernmost in um, in uh, in the Miami metro area. And as you can probably tell, this map demonstrates it well. I think a lot of the population here is on the um, east coast, which is next to the ocean. Um, and as we are getting bigger, and this area is getting bigger. Uh, people, more and more people are going west, which is why we're looking, it's a good, good idea to, to discuss uh, Royal Palm Beach. Um, we call these areas here the Western communities. They become more and more popular. Wellington is like the original, um, original in this area, in the central Palm Beach County, a Western community, very big equestrian area. If you, I've done a few videos on, on Wellington, uh, check out my channel if you want to know more, learn more about that. Just to the north of Wellington is what we're going to talk about today, uh, Royal Palm Beach. So believe it or not, Royal Palm Beach was was not really incorporated that long ago, basically in the late 50s. Um, this was all swampland out here and they had not been developed until uh, last century, the latter part of, of, of last century. This area is about 11 square miles. And what makes this sort of, sort of a nice location for this area is uh, it is a quick ride into uh, downtown West Palm Beach. Um, it's very close to Wellington and also perhaps the biggest, the fastest growing area in uh, Palm Beach. It's right adjacent to that, which is West Lake, Florida. So Royal Palm Beach is a very, very fast growing area. It is now about 40,000 people. Um, Palm Beach as a whole is about a million people. So it's like a treat it like a big suburb. A lot of a lot of uh, the Palm, Palm Beach County and Royal Palm Beach is uh, while there are some rural areas uh, treat that as it mostly as it grows. It is becoming more of a uh, of, of a suburb, a big a big suburb to West Palm Beach and to the Miami metro area. All right, drilling down to Royal Palm Beach. 
One of the one of the best things about it is it is a it is literally directly west of the biggest city in the county, which is West Palm Beach. If you um, haven't seen it before, look at my West Palm Beach videos. It is the center of the area. Um, you have places like uh, we well used to be called City Place. It's now called the Square. Great place for restaurants, entertainment, and all that kind of stuff. The beach is right here. Palm Beach is the one of the it's well well renowned, uh, well renowned. It is a uh, it is the fourth in one of my videos I did recently. It is the fourth uh, most expensive zip code in the United States. You have mansions here of about fifty million dollars. Um, now, what's interesting about the name Royal Palm Beach? If you notice something, it's not anywhere near the beach. Um, you find there's a lot of places here that like to steal that beach name, giving it a little bit more of a lure. As an example, Lake Worth used to be just plain old Lake Worth, and now they uh, they they made this town about five years ago called Lake Worth Beach. Um, basically, they wanted you wanted to steal the name, like you have Delray Beach down here. Uh, where's Delray? Good old Delray Beach, and uh, so they try to they try to uh, use that beach, trying to make the, the place seem a little I guess, a little bit more glamorous, as as they say. So um, when I moved here 16 years ago, Royal Palm Beach was not a lot there, and it, and it, and it uh, is growing rather quickly now. Um, you have a lot of parks here. Uh, Cal uh, Calypso Bay is a nice big water park. Um, if you have children and you have, uh, have school trips, you will probably go to Calypso Bay Water Park. My kids did. Um, and uh, so you have that. You have, you have Commons Park, which they have a lot of like... Uh, flea markets, food festivals. They have a big um, farmer's market here in this area, which is which is actually pretty popular here in um, in, the, in Palm Beach County. Uh, if you are a chef and you love to cook, um, there are so many great farmer's markets around here. The biggest one is in West Palm Beach. There's basically uh, 93 vendors in downtown West Palm Beach, uh, the biggest there, but we also have a smaller one here in uh, in Royal Palm Beach. So as you look at the eastern part of Royal Palm Beach, it is bordered by uh, State Road 7. State Road 7 along the, uh, if you're looking at in the Western communities, that is the main road. Some people also call it uh, Route 441 because in many places it is the same road, Route 441. So if you hear Route 441 or State Road 7, you know that people are from Palm Beach. Um, so it, uh, we're so close to Wellington here in, um, in Royal Palm Beach. Here's the center of Wellington. A little, little history on this is Wellington, the Western part back here, is very very equestrian and uh, what i mean by horse people and that was one of the original parts of wellington and then as it got bigger more and more people moved here to route 441 state road 7 and so you see a lot of a lot of shopping here um there's whole foods as you can see here the uh, wellington green mall is uh is right here so uh there's a between here between lake worth road um maybe more like here shriveling and north is uh there's a lot of shopping and as you go in north to royal palm beach from wellington uh this area here where there was almost nothing in terms of shopping this area and this map doesn't really show it as closely as it should i believe um there is a ton of shopping over here you have all kinds of restaurants i'm sure there's a lot of a lot of chains and whatnot but all the main stores you will find here along route 7 in royal palm beach so I know one of the things you guys probably want to know is where where in Royal Palm Beach should you live? One thing I want I got to say this is that one of the um, one of the attributes, one of the positives, one of the pros when it comes to living in Royal Palm Beach is the taxes. Uh, the taxes in uh, we have Palm Beach County taxes, right? But each individual village, town, city is sort of taxed a little bit different from a real estate tax perspective. And um, so if you look at neighboring Wellington, uh, which is literally, it borders Royal Palm Beach, it's right down the street, uh, it, the taxes there are higher. So if you live in Royal Palm Beach, you have access to all the stuff that's here in Wellington and, uh, and, live, and, and pay less taxes if you live in, in Royal Palm. So as we explore where to live, this one this hits this one hits you right right in the nose here. Uh, this is called uh, Madison Green. Uh, Madison Green is a uh, is a nice is, is is a nice community. It is just north of this is the road that goes into um, 
downtown West Palm Beach is called Okeechobee Boulevard. Um, if you live in Palm Beach, you know how to pronounce Okeechobee. <laughs> um, it is an Indian word and uh, it goes right, right into the heart of downtown West Palm Beach. Um, and then if you are if you are over here, there's a Royal Palm Beach Boulevard right here. As you go north, um, uh, as you go north, you hit Madison Green. It is a, a bunch of, it's one big community. It has several, um, several like sub HOAs. And uh, within those HOAs, they're all separately managed. Uh, they have a country club here. If you're a golfer, this is a great place to check out. Now, the homes are a little bit older. This is an older community. This is the, the most of the homes there were built around 2002, 2003. So the place is about 20 years old, roughly. Um, and uh, so if you're looking at homes, I warn people, if you're looking at homes in this area, Remember, you're going to see homes that are 20 years old. You are not going to be seeing new construction, new construction homes. So you should expect there being, because not everyone uh, keeps their home up to date. You should expect to have to want to put some money in, wanting to put some money in to get your home up to date if you buy in Madison Green. Since I mentioned new construction up here, there is a new community called, I'm not sure we can even see it here. Um, it's yeah, it's right in here somewhere. It's just north of Madison Green. It's called Bella Sarah. I've done a video on this community. Go to my YouTube channel if you want to check that out. They're getting close to selling out. Bella Sarah is a new construction community that is a Lennar community, and uh, it it uh, it was very very popular during the uh, during the. Um, the, the 2020 to 2021s it was really hard to get in there uh it um it, they had wait lists and it really frustrated a lot of people because they're the process that lenora uses quite frankly is horrible and um and a lot of people just got frustrated and ended up buying in other areas like westlake so uh i don't mind saying this because uh we here at uh, living in palm beach florida we have no skin in the game if you're buying a home with us, and that's as much as we like to do videos, we like to help you find homes even more if you're relocating to this area. Um, we have no skin in the game. So if you are looking at either a new construction or existing homes, we don't care. We want you to be happy. If you're looking at a Lennar home versus a Minto home, we don't care. We just want you to be happy. So that's the, the standpoint that we have. But um, over here is Bellicera. There are still homes. And one of the things we have found in this area is that uh, is that there are some homes that are now coming uh, up for resale. So you, if you want a new home, like a tw in like 2018 and newer, and you don't want to go through that new construction process and or possibly even get a really good deal, because what we find are people are moving from these areas are normally motivated sellers because they get tra transferred. You can imagine your job transfers you to Florida and then now you're being transferred out to, I don't know, Wisconsin or California or Ohio, wherever. You need to sell that home. So we are seeing a lot of that. Um, I also see that a lot in some of the other areas. Westlake, the largest, uh, the newest city in Florida, 4,000 homes. As you can tell, it is not that far from Royal Palm Beach. If you look at Bellicera, their big one of their biggest competition are people buying in the, in the Westlake area. And uh, so we are actually seeing resales there in Westlake. We've had some people that have been very successful in that. So instead of going through the process of buying a new home, they sort of just get a new home that was custom for someone else, but is in, is in great shape. And a lot of people are choosing to go that route these days. Um, the other thing I want to tell you about Royal Palm Beach is it's also close to this area we call Loxahatchee. Um, Loxahatchee is a very rural area here. Um, Westlake used to be uh, part of Loxahatchee and they developed it into its own city. Uh, if you want to buy uh, homes that are, and it's just north of Royal Palm Beach, if you want to buy homes that are like a lot of land, like let's say an acre, acre and a half, and build your own homes. I just don't want to appear. There's a, if you, we, we were up here, there's one of my favorite builders. I don't see it here off the right top of my head, but there's one of my, uh, one of my favorite builders that are, that do custom homes that are just centered around there. Um, call our office if you want to know more about that. Um, so if you want to buy some land up here and let's say an acre and a half and, and build your own home from scratch and very customize it, that is a place you do it. There's two places, generally speaking, in Palm Beach County you do this. Uh, Loxahatchee's one of them. The other place is way north 
in uh, Jupiter Farms out uh, out this way. So again, um, let's let's zoom in to Royal Palm Beach. Now there has been a lot of uh, building around here. Um, not just like these. You can see some of the shops starting to show up here, tacos and shops like that. But um, there's a lot of um, there's a there's a Costco here. I know people are big fans of Costco. Um, in in um, if you um, if you live in Royal Palm Beach, right around here is a is a is a Costco that a lot of people frequent. There's a lot of shopping in that area. They have some rentals that they put they built across the street there that I have helped people move in from I don't we don't really focus on rentals but if you buy a new construction home and it's a year to build there's you know, that's a big tip good tip for you guys there are some places where you can rent for let's say 8 to 10 to 12 months while they're building your home we've had success doing that um in some of these areas in in Royal Palm Beach and again there's a, there's just a lot to there's just a lot going on here so that's something that I would consider if you're buying a new construction here in Palm Beach County Again, drilling into some of the uh, other communities, Port of Seoul is right here. It's right before you hit Loxahatchee up Route 7. This is a actually a relatively new road. This wasn't here 10 years ago. This is a great way to get up into the upper part of Loxahatchee and Western Palm Beach Gardens. Um, it opened things up quite a bit. To the south of it, right along Okeechobee and uh, and State Road 7, is this big community called, called Port of Seoul. Um, another, this is an area that's again about 20 years old. If you want to look in there, reach out to us. Um, if you want to know the differences between these neighborhoods, I mean, that's what we do. I mean, my gosh, um, we can tell you the differences between all these different communities. It's what we, that's what people rely on us for. So reach out to our team if you want to know more about that. I noticed that there's the Royal Palm Beach Community High School. So this is sort of near, again, near the center of Royal Palm Beach. It is, um, the schools in general in Royal Palm Beach, this is always a big question with us, for us, is um, how are the schools? They are, they, they, they were considered maybe not so good, but they have been improving drastically in recent years, especially in the middle, in the middle, uh, middle school years and the elementary. Uh, Royal Palm Beach was like a, was, was not so, um, Royal Palm Beach High School was not considered that, but it is up there. It might be an A now. Um, so that's that's something to look at. The other thing I'll say is there's a not really good um, charter school in the area called Western Academy. Uh, I had kids that I have three kids. I've had I've had two of them that went there, and uh, it is a it is an A-rated middle school. It is from the from a USA perspective, it is one of the best middle schools in the area. Um, in, in the country, rather. So uh, if you want to know more about the schools, reach out to our team. We can help you. Uh, you have to do the work, of course, uh, to, to, nat to do your homework on this. But, uh, you know, we can help you navigate as to what uh, to expect when it comes to the schools. All right, zooming out a little bit, I want to touch on this a bit. This is sort of a cool area. Um, Lion Country Safari. It is a, um, when I lived in New York, we had a place called Jungle Habitat. This is similar to that. You can literally take your kids and, um, or yourself for that matter. Um, if you want to, you know, like like drive through like like Africa, you know, they have giraffes and elephants and all kinds of stuff. Um, Lion Country Safari is exactly where they do all that stuff. So a little story for myself in regards to Lion Country Safari. My son, my oldest son was in Boy Scouts um, many years ago, and I was den leader actually. Um, we um, we went camping in Lion Country Safari. And one of the coolest things about it was uh, on that trip was that in the middle of the night, we, we camped right near the, uh, the, the, they have campgrounds there, or right near the where the jungle is and all that. And they have a, a caged off area, it's caged off, but you can get to them pretty close, of lions. And, um, you can hear them in the middle of the night. You will hear these lions roar. It is it is actually pretty cool um, to listen to them to do that. I got to touch on this area, Arden. This is an area that was that was established probably about four or five years ago. Um, no, about four years ago, and um, it's now uh, we're now seeing they're still building out there. It's a master plan community, about twenty five hundred homes. Uh, what the one of the things that one of the things that sometimes people you remember we hear everything from relocation people so we hear it all and we know the opinions of people right through here is pretty um i wouldn't say barren but desolate but it there's not a lot here and so some people who who uh who view here 
Um, this is a big community, but in between, there's not a lot. There are building stuff. There will be a lot of stuff there, but um, some people don't have the patience to to live in a developing master plan community. If that's you, that's Arden is not the place for you. But if if you're okay with that, and let's say you more you work remotely and you want. Um, you want to be able to uh you're okay with uh, staying on your on your property they have the most amazing amenities here one of the nicest pools in, in in palm beach heads down one of the nicest clubhouses in the area they have lakes you can do fishing on the lakes you can you can rent a kayak there they have a working farm there so i'm going to do a video just on arden coming up I, i've been scheduled to do that with one of our builders uh so keep an eye out for that but uh arden is a great place to to check out if you're looking in the area it's not that far from royal palm beach which is the subject of a believe it or not <laughs> the subject of this video so um in general there, there, there's a this is a very fast fast growing area uh there's a lot of parks in this area and one of the best things about royal palm beach it is close to all the things that wellington has to offer without the prices of the homes again the pricing of homes is less expensive in royal palm beach versus wellington and you have a quick drive into downtown west palm beach as you dig into the uh like i, I went zoomed right into the heart of down uh right into uh the area of uh, I didn't say about to say downtown Royal Palm Beach, but there is really no downtown. It's it's one big suburb, really. You can see there's a lot there. So let me get out of the screen here. So what I like about Royal Palm Beach is it's it's close to all the all the proximity to a lot of great things. The the newest community, meaning Westlake, it's close to uh, the northern part of. Uh, Northern part of Palm Beach County, uh, Palm Beach Gardens. They have a lot of stuff up in Palm Beach Gardens. It's fairly quick to get there. Um, and as I mentioned, it's really easy to get into uh, downtown West Palm Beach. So if you're interested in, in suburban living in Royal Palm Beach, it's an area I would certainly continue. Palm Beach, Royal Palm Beach, paradise here in South Florida.